Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrek.com and today we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab video chat review. Uh, basically, uh, I've got one Galaxy Tab here. I've got a Galaxy Tab in the other room with our associate uh, Ricky, as you guys know from um, our Apple section. iTechTrek.com, check it out today. Anyways, um, we're just going to go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to set up a voice call using the third-party application Fring. Uh, he has the T-Mobile Galaxy Tab and I have the Verizon Galaxy Tab, so pretty simple. So let's get into it. So here we go, we have the Galaxy Tab, you know, huge seven inch uh, tablet device. And it's pretty simple. I have Fring open here, but I'll show you how easy it is. You can go ahead and we'll reorientate the screen. You can go ahead and get Fring. Um, easy as one, two, three, go ahead and go into the Android market, go into the Android market. Go ahead, hit the search key, type in Fring. It'll bring up previous searches. Uh, we tried to bring up Quick, which is another uh, voice search, but for some reason the Quick on the Galaxy Tab for Verizon would not work uh, with its voice chat capability. I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, probably mostly due to the fact that um, applications can be fine-tuned uh, per carrier, and the carrier decided not to use Quick, but they did allow Fring on here uh, for video chat. So we're gonna go ahead, show how easy it is. Open up our Fring application. Um, we go ahead and these are just different um, messages you can send because you can do messages or you can go back and I can message, video chat or just call in general. We'll hit video chat using the Fring service. Sometimes it does take a little while to load up. So here we go, we have uh, Ricky in the other room. Say hello to the internets, Ricky. Uh, pretty good. Uh, show people uh, some of the background around you a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot switch camera views. Uh, you only can do the uh, forward-facing camera, but you can do video chat with the back-facing camera if you'd like. Uh, you just have to set it up before you start your video call. Yeah, you can't switch in between. That's that's because you're an Apple fanboy, but it's okay. So thank you for demonstrating with me, Ricky. So as you can tell, uh, very easy to use. Um, simple, colorful displays down here. Uh, again, free, it's a free uh, download, it's a free service to use. Uh, you can pay for international calling. I can show you that here, go back. Uh, you can Fring out, which you can buy credits and call people, not on Fring from one cents a minute, call any landline or mobile worldwide. So kind of like a, a Skype-esque service as well. Um, they um, continuously roll out updates for better video quality and everything. Uh, they're a really, really nice service and you probably have heard of them before. Uh, similar to, um, again, like I said, Quick or uh, Skype Mobile. Overall, as you can tell, Galaxy Tab here in the US, we cannot make a phone call and that's the closest thing we can get to a phone call. Not too bad, a little bit of a video delay and a little bit of granular um, display just because the picture itself is stretched out so large across the tablet. Um, if there's maybe an update to shrink down the video image a little bit or to, again, like I said, they are increasing the ability for the uh, picture quality to be really, really nice as well. Again, my name is Tom from CellPhoneTrek.com. Go to CellPhoneTrek.com for all your latest cell phone news and reviews. Also check out our other sister sites, part of the Trek Media Group. Uh, basically, go to the bottom of the cell phone track and you'll find Android Trek and a whole bunch of other stuff that I won't bore you with. We're giving away free stuff, it's Christmas. Uh, comment on our channel and you could possibly win free stuff. Just that simple. All right, I'm done with that. And there's one more thing I wanted to say. I know what it was. Happy holidays and have yourself a great new year.